this is the part right here that we're going to be working with. I'm not really sure what this part is intended to be for. It's in place of the four-wheel drive selector on trucks that have four-wheel drive. Uh, so it's probably an afterthought, to be honest, from GM. Um, if your truck does not have a four-wheel drive, then you get this lovely piece right here. Too small to hold the key. Uh, you could put a couple coins in there, I guess, but it doesn't really serve any purpose. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to take this out. It is possible to just pull out with your hand, which I'm gonna show you. If you wanna be extra careful, you could use a plastic trim removal tool, um, but right here in the front where there's a little notch, you can get your finger in there and pull up on, and I found that's the easiest spot to start from. And then you can kind of work your fingers around and just pull up. Again, it just has plastic clips on the bottom, and I'll show you that just by pulling gently and then moving moving your hand around the sides, it will just pop out. You can see the clips there on the bottom, four clips, and you see that you have a round hole in that trim piece there. So again, this is the part right here that we're gonna be taking out. Now I'm gonna show you the solution that I've developed here for my truck um, because I do not have the wireless charging um, up here in this little cubby. So I'm gonna integrate a MagSafe charger for my phone. Of course, we've got the wireless CarPlay, so the phone doesn't have to be plugged in. All right, so the cup here, again, you'll see uh, we have a cup for a bottom, and then there is a lid on the top. And I'm gonna set down the lid for a moment and just show you the cup, uh, again, with the adhesive on the bottom. We put the uh, adhesive tape it still fits perfectly down in the hole, um, but that will just keep there from being any kind of rattle or from it spinning around. It will hold it nicely. Okay, I went ahead and removed the uh, protective cover on the adhesive. I'm gonna show you here um, how that goes in place. Give it a little push down there on that crossbar and now we have it in place. It's not gonna rattle, um, it's not gonna move, but again, it is possible to take this out if you would like to put the factory part back in. Um, you can simply pull up while twisting and that will give you the force that you need to let that adhesive come loose, um, but it is very strong and unless you are actively trying to take it out, it will stay there. All right. Um, and here's the lid component. Again, um, it's got a little locking uh, mechanism. So you put that in and turn it, and then it's gonna be in place because the locking lid, put that back in there, is what is going to hold the MagSafe charger. We can go ahead and line up our tabs and lock it in place. Now the cord tends to be a little bit cumbersome, uh, can get in the way, so I have developed a piece here to help direct the cord and keep it nice and clean and out of the way as much as possible and hidden. Okay. So you can see once you plug it in, then it keeps the cord nice in that cubby and out of the way. It's up to you when you put this together if you would like to have the uh, the charging cord where you want it to come out. I've got mine here on the side so that it's hidden as much as possible. You could also, I'll go ahead and unlock this, you could also have it positioned like this so that it's going directly um, towards the cord. Um, you just need to rotate that bottom piece whenever you put it in to decide where ultimately you want the cord to come out at the end when it's all attached. Get my tabs lined up and lock that back in. So this is the finished piece. The phone fits very nicely here on the MagSafe charger. Will charge while you're driving. The cord is nice and out of the way. Um, it's very easy to get to if you need to. Uh, it does not block the parking brake. It does not interfere with the shifter. So I think a nice clean solution and much better um, to have some functionality than whatever this piece is.